Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to be checking out the Ewe Link app and the new Sonoff Cam Slim. Let's take a look. So a quick disclaimer for you guys, Ewe Link reached out to me and asked me would I be interested in reviewing the new camera plan of their app. Uh, along with the new Sonoff Cam Slim. Uh, I, yeah, of course I agreed, you know, anything to get some new stuff in front of you guys. Uh, you know, they've not paid for any of this. Um, you know, I just get to keep the couple of products that they've sent through uh, at the end of it. And uh, this is the first time they're seeing the video along with you guys as well. So uh, there might be um, some interesting feedback for them as we go through the video. So who is eWeLink? Well, you know, I just thought it would be some kind of small company. I get lots of emails all the time from, from these companies that want me to review things like you know, inflatable beds and stuff like that, which is just not appropriate for the tech channel. But they are a sister company to Sonoff, and I'm sure those of you who have joined the channel recently for the smart device content uh, will be aware of Sonoff, you know, quite a large brand uh, with regards to smart home devices. And um, Ewe Link is, is a large brand themselves, so they completely passed me by. I apologize to Ewe Link for that. Um, but, you know, most of my smart devices, uh, you know, I've been in the, the Toya Smart Life ecosystem and, um, you know, I just wasn't aware of Ewe Link. I am now, and uh, obviously that's why, you know, I've agreed to do uh, this video. Um, basically, they have uh, 8 million active users on the system uh, which is quite a large number of users for a smart platform um, basically i think the way to look at it is is a smart device ecosystem so they bring together so it's almost like an open platform so they bring together uh you know devices from it's it's like 80 plus different manufacturers and you know in in totaling that you think of all those smart devices that's more than 20 million devices that have been brought together onto the platform and you know it's um for sonoff products you know ewe link sent me the camera they sent me a door sensor as well uh, which didn't kind of match up at first but you know you'll see that in this video um you know it is the app that goes with the camera so when you look at the uh, the packaging of the the sonoff camera there's a little you know ewe link logo in the uh, in the top corner and you know, just like all other brands have got their own proprietary uh, application for using with their smart devices, Ewelink is more of an of an open platform in in that regard. So, quite an interesting concept, really. And they've got some big names there. There's plenty of names I've never heard of. So, you know, uh, it's probably some I should look into. Um, you know, from certainly doing more smart uh, device content. But uh, equally, there are lots of other names as well. And uh, I did actually ask the um you know the the person i was contacted by at ewe link you know what is the next big thing uh, that's that's coming along in terms of product integration and uh you know it's going to be the nest cam is something that they're working on at the moment so you know these aren't small little tiny companies that you've never heard of um you know nest is obviously quite a big brand in the smart home uh device arena so you know lots of um, work going on in the background to to build upon uh, those brands that they've got within their ecosystem. And I think one of the really nice things to see that they've got there, obviously, you know, they've got things like your Google Home integration, they've got your Amazon uh, uh, Echo Alexa integration, and really, really good. They've got Home Assistant integration as well. So those of you who've joined the channel recently, um, you know, following my Home Assistant, uh, challenges uh, you know this is something maybe to go and have a look at yourselves you know and see what you can do with home assistant there as well so in terms of an app where you can get it on the ios and android stores uh, and it's a completely free app from that point of view and that will give you uh, you know a lot of the equivalent basic functionality that you get with uh, apps from other manufacturers you know their own proprietary apps one of the interesting things about the ewe link uh, system is that they have these additional tiers yes you have to pay for them you know there's a lot of work going in uh in in that side of things and uh, but that's where it really makes itself stand out from uh, kind of like other platforms and i think you know if you're somebody who 
doesn't necessarily want to go down the Home Assistant route and be writing all that YAML and all that kind of stuff and messing around, you know, because it's just far too complicated, then this may be a good alternative for you. So EWLink sent me the new Sonoff Cam Slim, and I'm just gonna run through the prices and specification for you guys so you get an idea of what it is. It retails for $26.90, so in UK money that's, uh, well, £26.90 basically given the exchange rate at the moment. Um, it is a indoor camera, it's Wi-Fi, runs on the 2.4 gigahertz network and uh, it's a, um, a 1080p full HD camera so you know some some you know decent quality there. It's not uh, you know quality like 2k or something like that so if you want better than that you're gonna have to pay out more than that I think for something less than 27 quid is a fabulous price for some of the stuff that's on this camera. Um, it's a colour camera, but that's only in daytime vision. In uh, It has infrared nighttime vision, and that is black and white footage only. Uh, it's got two-way audio, so, you know, you can, um, you know, obviously, if you, maybe you wanted to use it for a baby monitor or something like that, you could do that. Um, it, you know, lots of standard features, I guess, uh, compared to other cameras, so motion detection. It's got an alarm feature on it as well. We will touch upon that uh, in a little bit. Uh, it has uh, a micro SD card local storage on the camera, and that will take a 256 gigabyte SD card. So really good to have such uh, large capacity there. And obviously with the EWI Link camera plan, you have got the cloud storage there as well if you want to use that. And if you still don't want to use that, then it also supports RTSP as well. So if you've got a NAS or some kind of recorder or something like that, then you can stream it out and record it on there. So really good specs from that point of view, certainly at that price point. I think one of the things to, to highlight about this camera is actually the, the, the base, the mounting unit for it. Really unique base compared to some of the mounts that I've seen before. You can get the camera in all kinds of positions. Uh, you know, depending upon your needs. It's a magnetic base, so, you know, you can attach it to the side of the fridge if you want to, uh, you know, get it at whatever angle you want. And equally, if you, if you don't want to use that, then there are sticky pads in the box and you can attach those to the base and then stick it wherever you want. And if that is something you still don't um, want to use, then you can completely detach the camera head from the mount and you get a nice right angled uh, USB cable uh, with it so you know you can get this into some um, quite discreet places where, where you know you could hide it away and people wouldn't really notice it so really good thought um, put into uh, by Sonoff with regards to the mounting system uh, you know far far better than uh, cameras at, at similar kind of price to this where it's basically just uh, you know a little plastic mount that you either go and stick to the wall or drill into the wall or something like that. So in terms of setup, well, it's a really straightforward process. Uh, you know, like a lot of these things, you you obviously have to put in your Wi-Fi details to connect. Um, but it will, uh, you know, once you you set the pairing mode going, you choose it's what's called a sound pairing mode, which is a really really bizarre. And as it was going through that, when it started making the noise, uh, basically it it almost made my ears bleed because it just sounds like a modem from the 1980s. But it was so loud. Um, and it was only an, until I actually realized that the noise was coming from a mobile phone. So, um, yeah, so I think that would be one recommendation to, to Sonoff or EWLink, you know, whoever's responsible for that, that noise is maybe, can we have a different noise, please? Uh, you know, it, it is quite disturbing when it goes off. However, um, once it's paired up, it, it does take a little while to do it. It took up to about two minutes for me to go through and, and to pair fully. Uh, you do get lots of voice prompts as, it, as it's going through. So for, uh, you know, in terms of you not quite sure about these things and you don't know what it's doing, it is quite reassuring to be told that it's going through the different steps. So, you know, bonus points there to Sona for that. Uh, but once it's, um, it's all paired, then it will show up in the EWLink app. Now I've got some footage here, so you can see what it's like. So we've got some black and white nighttime footage, and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. You know, it's uh, remember, you know, 1080p. You can have this in HD or SD if you want to, if you want to save space. Um, but you know, it's uh, it's not overexposed. You know, there's there's good level of detail there, and uh, you know, in terms of daytime color footage, yeah, you know, I think the colors are, are pretty representative of what they were in real life. So uh, you know pretty happy with that given it, it's you know less than 27 pounds uh, for this type of camera um, so you know 
all in all, good level of footage. Uh, you know, the um, motion detection on it, much, much better than the Eufy camera that I uh, reviewed not so long ago on the channel. Picked me up at a greater distance uh, away from the camera and uh, the notifications came up almost instantly on it as well. So really, really good from that point of view. So in terms of using the camera with the EWLink app, well, you know, all the basics are covered for you there. I think one thing to note on this camera is there is no zoom, uh, which is a little bit disappointing, but given, you know, the price that you're paying for it is probably to be expected in some ways. Uh, it does have a 130 degree uh, viewing angle, so, you know, pretty good from that point of view. And uh, I guess, you know, depending upon where you have this position, zoom might not actually be something that's, you know, that important for you, um, but just something you should be aware of. So in terms of the application settings for the camera, well, you know, it's pretty standard stuff to be fair. Uh, lots of similarities with other applications for, for other cameras. Uh, you know, you've got lots of your standard stuff there, you know, your dates, times, uh, you know, eventing and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, obviously, as I mentioned, you've got your RTSP settings. So if you want to set that up, you can do. You've got your handling your micro SD card and, um, you know, things like motion detection, sensitivity, all that kind of stuff. So all kind of standard affair, really. One of the things that I did notice that seemed to be missing was being able to define zones for the motion detection, which, um, you know, yeah, it's a little disappointed not to see that. Uh, you know, maybe Ebelink or Sonoff, uh, when they're watching this, you know, they might be able to let me know about that, you know, whether that's something that might come in the future or whether it's just not possible at all. Uh, it, it is something I see on a lot of cameras, so, you know, I'm not sure why it's not on this. Um, equally, you know, some cameras have privacy modes on them. This didn't have anything like that. So just something you need to be aware of uh, with regards to that functionality. So earlier in the video, I touched upon these additional tiers that you can subscribe to on the EWLink app. Now I'm going to go into the camera plan one, which is the new plan uh, in, a, in a bit more detail in a second. But I just want to touch upon the advanced plan, which is $9.99 a year. Phenomenal value. Um, you know, gives you, it's probably for people who want more advanced things and like to mess around and all that kind of stuff. So, it, you know, it supports things like um, if this, then that. Uh, you know, you've got. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of stuff on your PC with it as well. Uh, so yeah, probably worth having a look at that on their website. Um, you know, there's um, you know a link to that down below. I'll put links to everything uh, that I've got, uh, including the camera, uh, down below. So, but it's the new camera plan um, that I, obviously Ewe Link sent me the camera and a door sensor for. I'm just going to talk about some of the things that you can do with the new camera plan. So the camera plan is $4.99 a month per camera or $34.99 a year per camera. Probably similar kind of money in UK pounds. And uh, you probably think, hang on a second, that's really expensive for uh, cloud storage. Well, yeah, you know, if it was purely just cloud storage, uh, then, you know, it does sound a little expensive, certainly on the monthly cost. Anyway, the yearly one sounds like a bit of a bargain, to be honest with you. Um, however, it's not just cloud storage. So yes, you get your 30 days cloud storage. So uh, for me, somebody in the UK, my data is going to be located in the EU, in Frankfurt to be exact. Uh, so really good to know that my data is closer to home than maybe some of the other manufacturers on the market. Um, but it is the additional functionality, this advanced stuff that goes with the camera plan that is the really exciting bit and kind of, you know, these things um, bring to life uh, you know, the, the kind of like the features of the EWLink ecosystem. It demonstrates the capabilities of, of what could be achievable by using this system. And I, I'm going to go through some of that in just a second, but just to highlight some of the features that you get with the camera plan. So you've got all your footage stored there. You can look at all the event history and you can view all of this whenever and wherever you want to. So really, really good from that point of view. Uh, you can do live streaming on your Google devices and your Amazon Echo devices. You've got notifications and I'm noting uh, their upcoming changes. They've got even richer notifications coming through. So lots of development going on. It seems to be on a monthly basis. They've got new functionality coming through. Um, you know, if you've got an Apple smart watch, then uh, you know, get notifications through to that. So if you're somebody who goes out jogging in the morning or late in the evening and somebody triggers 
um, you know, one of your devices, uh, you know, maybe they've broken into your house and you're going to get that notification and you can sprint back home and go and catch them in the act. Um, you know, some of the other stuff, you know, if you don't want to be doing all this on the on the app, you know, maybe you've got a lot of stuff coming up on the app and, you know, lots of events and things like that. You can go and do some of this on the on a web platform as well. So, you know, a bit of a bigger screen to go and look at stuff. Um, but it's the next bit that I'm going to demonstrate, which is the really cool and interesting thing, I suppose. And this is this explains why EV Link sent me a camera and a door sensor. So basically i've gone and set up the camera and the door sensor uh, on the on the app they've both been paired to that and what i'm now able to do through a really really simple process and this is real time this so you see how quick um, this is uh, to to actually achieve is I, I just go into a scene and i go and say that you know when the door sensor has been opened then um, you know i want to sound an alarm and that alarm will sound on the camera. So, you know, just to demonstrate that, you know, if I open up the sensor, then the alarm goes off on the camera. Um, I think it would be good to be able to have uh, a longer play uh, of the alarm. It, it just seems to go off once. So, you know, I don't know whether that's, that's possible, but, you know, even so, really cool from that perspective. I can build upon that now. So, you know, I can go into the uh, camera event detection and I can say that, you know, when that door sensor has been detected as open, then I can have the camera automatically start recording. So that's regardless of whether that's been pe picked up by the sensor of the camera, um, you know, as part of its motion detection system, or even if I am within uh, the field of view of the camera. So, you know, really, really clever stuff to be able to achieve. Uh, and certainly it's such a simple process as well. Uh, you know, if you don't really want to be, uh, you know, as I said earlier, doing all this complex stuff, this is really simple, straightforward things, um, you know, that are easily achievable. And I think, you know, hats off to EWLink to, uh, you know, in the way that they've made this a simple process, you know, the application knows about these devices that will hook up together and allow you to achieve these things. So, you know, the, I, I think, you know, what I would say is go and download the EWLink app from your store of choice uh, that goes with your mobile device go and have a look at some of the basic functionality and you know if you've got a bunch of devices that are already supported by the app you know if you if it's anything like me uh, with smart devices you've probably got a ton of apps um, you know on your mobile device and you may well be able to combine some of those into the ewe link app and then just think about you know whether you can get added value from the two plans yeah you don't have to have the advanced plan to get the the camera plan and vice versa you know that you can have either one or, or both of them so um you know but i'm going to carry on playing around with this i may well do some more videos uh, on some of the other things that i find about it um, it's not perfect, you know, as an app, you know, there are uh, things that, that, you know, could do with some little tweaks here and there, but I'm really excited, you know, I never knew about this platform prior to EWLink um, sending me uh, some details, and I'm really excited to, to kind of like play around with this, so I'd love to know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys, you know, were you aware of EWLink, um, you know, have you tried any of this stuff? Uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, yeah, drop them down below. Let me know. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed already, then, you know, subscribe to the channel for uh, more content like this. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.